sing. Yeah. 
song and uh, when I listened to it I was like oh we got to do that at camp and so we're going to do that the name of it is called uh, Crushing Snakes and I like this song a lot because it reminds me of something that happened a long long time ago you see God made a promise back in Genesis chapter 3 you remember Genesis 3 right Genesis 1 God creates everything six literal consecutive days seventh day he rests life is good then comes Genesis chapter 3 Adam and Eve, living in paradise, were given one rule, and the rule was, don't eat of that uh, tree. And the tree was the knowledge of good and evil, right? And what did they do? They ate of it. Why? Because some sneaky serpent, some snake, came into the garden, asking a bunch of questions, challenging God's authority, and uh, then literally... All hell breaks loose on earth and sin is introduced to the world and the world is a mess and it hasn't gotten any better but in Genesis chapter 3 after they ate of that fruit God comes down in the garden and he confronts the serpent and this is what he says in Genesis 3 14 and 15 because you have done this cursed are you above all livestock and all wild animals you will crawl on your belly and you will eat of the dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. Here it is, my favorite part. He will crush your head and you will bruise his heel. Verse 15 describes the ministry of Jesus. That it was always God's plan to rescue mankind, to restore the relationship that was broken because of my sin. And uh, one of the things that I love about that is that God says, look, you may have won the battle, but the war's not over. And you're going to crush, he's going to crush your head. Yeah, he'll bruise his heel, but he will ultimately stomp you out. If you are on team Jesus, I'm on team Jesus. Anybody else on team Jesus? raise your hand give a shout I'm on team Jesus 
if you're on Team Jesus, if you accepted Him as your Lord and Savior, you might have a rough day. You might have a bad week. Or a rough month. Or even a rough year. You might lose the battle, but frankly, Jesus has won the war. And that is what this song is talking about, is it's talking about crushing snakes. That we, as part of the kingdom of light, we have a Savior who's coming again, and He's going to stomp out Satan once and for all. And until He comes again, let's crush some snakes.
we're going to sing one last song before uh, Caleb comes and speaks to us tonight. And uh, it's really our prayer. It kind of hopefully will set the stage for uh, what he's getting ready to share with us tonight. It's really a prayer that just says, Lord, have your way in me. That I want you seated on the throne of my heart. And uh, that's what we're going to be singing about tonight. Let's just sing this song to him tonight.
Christian MC. We'll turn it back over to LJ. Thank you.